In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to create a pick and throw animation using Blender. In this video, you can see a character picking up a ball and throwing it somewhere else, which is exactly what we're going to create. Without further delay, let's get started. On my screen, you can see I have an animation downloaded from Mixamo and imported into Blender. Right now, the character doesn't have anything in their hand, but we will create a pick and throw animation where the character picks up a ball and throws it, just like in the promo video we watched earlier. First, I'll create a UV sphere to act as a ball, place it appropriately, and apply the scale. It looks good, and I'll add a red color texture, make it slightly glossy, and select Auto Smooth. Next, we'll check at which point the character picks up the ball. I'll switch to the front view and try to precisely match the position where the character is holding the ball, adjusting from the left view to get it just right. By frame 30 or 31, the character perfectly picks up the ball. Since we haven't added any constraints, the character isn't picking it up yet. So we need to add a child of constraint, or, as I'll show in this video, use an add-on called Grab It. On my screen, I have the Grab It add-on installed. If you want it, contact me using the number provided below for a discounted rate via WhatsApp. Now I'll check which frame, around 31, the character picks up the ball. Select the hand bone, press Control tab to enter pose mode, and set a keyframe in the bone settings to identify it. Using Grab It, I create a marker, select the ball, and set it as the parent. Now it's working. Next, we need to check when the character throws the ball, around frame 74, and click the drop button in Grab It to set the grab and drop points. At frame 70, I'll add a keyframe for location, rotation, and scale. And by frame 80, I'll move the ball to its new position. After adjustments, the animation looks fantastic, just like in the promo video. The character picks up and throws the ball perfectly. To refine it further, I'll use auto keying, adjust the ball's movement, and delete in between frames to smooth it out. This is how you create a great looking pick and throw animation using the Grab It add on. If you want it, WhatsApp me at the number below for a discounted rate. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll respond. Take care, stay inspired, and love you all.